I am downloading the eCarf test file. It is harmless, but triggers antivirus for testings. There, instant pop-up and the OS block access. That's what we will set up together today. And if you try to read or execute the file, you have an operation not permitted. This guide will be beginner friendly. I'll explain every command and every setting so you can reproduce it on your system. If you prefer the written guide, I have made one available on my website. The link will be in the description. So let's get started. We will install Claim AV, enable its real-time on-access monitor to watch your download folder and USB mount. Set safe exclusion to avoid scanning kernel or snapshot directories and desktop pop-up for detection. And test everything with the ECO file. First, update your system and install Claim AV. Claim TK optional, it's a small GUI version. We will use clamscan-v to see the output. This verify claim AV is installed and show the version. We will run fresh clam to download signatures databases. If it reports issue, that's usually because the background updater service is active, we'll enable that next. Now we will enable and start three services, fresh clam, auto update, ClamD, the main scanner daemon, and claim on access, the on access monitor that enforce blocking. Use systemctl status to confirm they are running. Both should show enable and active. So now we will edit the claim D configuration file to set the real time protection. On access prevention, we will set it to yes. This will turn on the blocking. The kernel here will deny access to the infected file. On access extra scanning, ensure that an event like renaming or creation of a file, claim AV put his attention and scan the file. On access include path, define what folder will be watched. Here, in my configuration, it will be the download and the auto mount folder for USB. On access exclude path, in the other hand, exclude folder to be watched. So, proc, sys and dev need to be excluded. And I added my snapshot directories and my VMs and ISO directories. Uncomment also the virus event line and it will point to a script that we will create to show the desktop notification. So make sure that the path is the right one. And don't forget, control X, Y, enter to save and exit. Now we need to edit the claim AV file under etc sudword.d. This grant the claim AV user permission to run notify send as any user. We absolutely need that so the virus event script that we will write in the next step will be able to display a pop-up in the logged in desktop session and we lock the file to mod 440 for security. By doing so, the file will be only readable by your root and no one can write it. So no one can take advantage of this user permission. Claim AV has now the permission to send notification. So under etc claim AV, we will now create a script for this notification. This script will look through graphical session under run user and uses notify send via sudo to create a pop-up in each user session. Don't forget, we have to make it executable with chmode x. Basically, claim AV need minimal traversal permission to enter your home folder. Otherwise, you may see the file paid check failure. These ACLs will give claim AV the read permission on the folder only. So we allow claim AV to traverse to our home folder. We are almost finished. Now we need to reload systemd and restart the services so they pick up the new configuration and the notification hook. Finally, the moment of truth. We will download the eCar test file into the watch download folder. As you can see, there is a pop-up and the system blocks the access if I try to cut the file or execute it. And this is exactly what we wanted, protection without manual checking. We can check the logs to confirm the detection and we will run this command for sanity check. 
This will verify the include and exclude part are exactly what we configured. And that's it. You now have Claim AV configured for focused, efficient, real-time protection on your Linux. It watches the place where threats typically appear, avoid noisy system path, notifies you when it finds something and block the access to infected file. Now that you understand how it works, you can personalize the configuration file. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe and check the article linked in the description. It is a step-by-step -step guide and you will find all the comments that we show showcased in this video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.